Rev. Al Sharpton criticizes Trump's Bible sales during Holy Week as disrespectful to Christians. Rev. Al Sharpton has condemned Donald Trump's sale of God Bless the USA Bibles during Holy Week, describing it as a spit in the face of people who really believe in the Christian holy text. Trump's promotion of the $59.99 Lee Greenwood-themed Bible on his Truth Social account on March 26 has sparked backlash from some Christians, especially as evangelical Christians are a crucial part of the coalition Trump aims to rally for his political endeavors. Speaking on Morning Joe, Sharpton expressed his dismay at the timing of Trump's Bible sales, particularly during Holy Week, which includes Good Friday and Easter Sunday. He questioned the appropriateness of using such a sacred time to promote a commercial product, especially one associated with the Christian faith. Sharpton's criticism emphasized the offense it may cause to those who hold deep religious convictions. The Reverend's comments extended to the role of ministers and conservative evangelicals who might endorse or use the Trump Bible during their Easter sermons. He suggested that any such behavior should be met with severe consequences, even proposing defrocking for those who fail to recognize the inherent disrespect in associating a commercial venture with a sacred religious observance. Furthermore, Sharpton raised concerns about the silence of evangelical Christians in response to Trump's actions. He questioned their commitment to their faith, suggesting that their failure to condemn the exploitation of Holy Week for profit raises doubts about their values and priorities. Sharpton's remarks underscored the tension within the evangelical community regarding the intersection of faith and politics, particularly in light of Trump's continued efforts to court their support. The controversy surrounding Trump's Bible sales during Holy Week highlights broader questions about the commodification of religion and the appropriate boundaries between faith and commerce. Critics argue that such actions cheapen the spiritual significance of religious holidays and undermine the integrity of religious beliefs by reducing them to marketable products. In response to Sharpton's criticisms, supporters of Trump may defend his actions as a legitimate business endeavor or a demonstration of patriotism. However, the timing and manner of the promotion raise legitimate concerns about the exploitation of religious sentiment for personal gain. Ultimately, the episode serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between religious expression and commercial interests in contemporary society. It prompts reflection on the responsibilities of individuals and organizations to respect the sanctity of religious traditions and refrain from actions that may offend or trivialize deeply held beliefs. As debates continue to unfold, it remains to be seen whether Trump's Bible sales during Holy Week will have lasting implications for his relationship with the evangelical community and the broader public perception of his alignment with religious values.